We just wrapped up the first quarter of 2024. My name is Tyler Braun. I'm the Director of Financial Planning with the Trinell Financial Group. Just wanted to take a few minutes and talk about you know, what we've seen in the markets and in the industry uh, over the past three months. So we really started this year strong. Uh, the S&P and the Dow continue to uh, push forward. Equities continue to grow and push higher, uh, still being led by a few of the mega cap corporations uh, that are just excelling and continuing to grow at extremely fast paces. Um, you know, we've seen GDP continue to tick up last year uh, in the fourth quarter. We saw GDP grow by 3.2% uh, for the year. It looks like for 2023, it grew at 2.5%. So we're seeing gross domestic product continue to show signs of growth. Uh, that sticky subject that's still out there is inflation, and that has uh, remained persistent. So inflation has continued to stay around longer than anticipated and continued to stay elevated, uh, actually ticking up slightly uh, throughout the first quarter. Uh, and what that's done is that started to create towards the end of uh, the first quarter, so the uh, last month or so, uh, some volatility to start to rise in the marketplace. So one of the major announcements uh, at the end of last year was that the Federal Reserve was actually looking to cut interest rates in 2024. And many of the analysts had predicted it would happen in the first quarter, possibly the beginning of the second quarter. Uh, and now that's looking to be pushed back as inflation has continued to be persistent. Uh, and obviously, the Fed does not want to take the foot off the gas pedal with the battle of inflation too early. So what that means is we've actually seen bonds inversely uh, impacted more for the negative. So as interest rates stay higher for a longer period of time, bonds Bond prices typically work inverse of interest rates. Uh, so we've seen the bond markets down about 0.8% uh, so far in the first quarter. Uh, in anticipation that interest rates would go down, obviously that would have a positive impact on the bond market in the future. So in a nutshell, We've seen equities continue to do very, very well. Uh, you know, the S&P was up almost 10% in the first quarter. We've seen the bond market struggle due to interest rates continuing to stay higher for a longer than anticipated time period. And then the third point is we are getting ready to go into election season. So get ready for bad TV commercials and market volatility. Uh, but we have an election every four years and we're the greatest country in the world. So if you have any questions, please re feel free to reach out to any of our advisors. We're here to help. Uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day.